Around today for the Artable PFM, so if you need anything for your car, any parts or anything, head on down to Harvey Wreckers and Lang Warren, uh, they'll help you out there. Alright, so start of the second half, margin is 42 points. I really need to get some goals early in this second half here, Lang Warren. What better way to start, Muston? A hand pass and a long kick forward there on that occasion by... That was, that was a big mark actually, and it was... Uh, there by Jake Smith, who got the kick up towards half forward, and the mark has been taken. He might have hurt himself actually here. Yeah, it looks like he's. Uh... It's by Aaron Shaw, who went up very, very high, but uh, unfortunately, he's just a little bit groggy. So, whether he can take his kick. He's just holding the head, the ball to the back of his head, and he's just sort of trying to suck in the pain. So he did take a big hit on the ground there as he went up. So an opportunity here for the perfect start of the third quarter here for Lang Warren. Can they score the first goal of the third quarter to give themselves an opportunity to get themselves back? Here's Aaron Shaw. He'll kick from about 40. He is not much of an angle. He has the shot. It doesn't make the distance. It's been knocked through for a behind. So Lang Warren up to two goals, 5-17. And Karingo at nine goals, 4 58 and that is on the Harvey Wreckers of Lang Warren scoreboard as Matthews over the top. Get the ball comes back to Matthews. Still an opportunity for Karingle at right half back. They go over the top towards the teammate there and that was uh, the player in Tim Hurst who has got, uh, got given a, a Karingle has got a free kick here right in front of the Karingle interchange bench in fact. So the long kick up towards Michael Burke and half forward but it drops short of him. And the ball has been marked by Jimmy Johnson instead here for Lang Warren, right in front of where we're broadcasting. So Lang Warren with a long kick by Johnson towards half forward Shaw, getting the ball down Bowie. Hand pass, Mitchell Gill finesse, back to Bowie. Still an opportunity here for Lang Warren. They get the hand pass to O'Shea. Jack O'Shea in towards half forward, looking there for a teammate who couldn't quite take the mark there in Shaw. Couldn't, uh, the ball didn't uh, go far enough to get to him. As Lang Warren, first couple of minutes, good pressure by them so far this quarter, Nick. Yeah, they are. They've come out, look like a new outfit here. They're definitely applying the applying the pressure, but they need to uh, put that on the scoreboard. I think you could have been standing about uh, 100 metres away, and you could have heard Paul Wortley uh, the first little bit of that speech. It wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't a very quiet speech to start with. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it's walking past just to uh, just to walk into the club rooms at half time there, and uh, yeah, it was very very loud the speech there. But uh, he's made his point. They've come out with great intensity to start this second half. But can they put it on the scoreboard? Hurst was tackled. And the umpire says... Yep, that's fine. Okay, so we've got good all here at... <laughs> Set a wing here for Karingo, an opportunity there for oh, Karingo to kick. pick up the ball. That was Dixon towards half forward towards his teammate there in... Uh, oh, too high, surely. And that was Paxton of the Grant Variety. And the umpire says, I will ball the ball up right in front of where we're broadcasting in this afternoon. Dixon again, uh, Voss, uh, picking up where he left off. He is absolutely on fire, isn't he, at the moment. And uh, I think we'll tell 14 kicks in the first half. And I tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised either. He was uh, a very, very good Ooh, player in the first half. Huge bump. Free kick for over the shoulder. Yeah, it is. And the crowd wants 50. The umpire says no. Bo Muston with a free kick. And he's been good again. So, Bo Muston with a kick out towards half forward, probably between wing and half forward, and the mark's been taken out on this occasion by Bowie. So Andrew Bowie can play on. He goes for the kick, but it was smothered off the boot. Still an opportunity there for, in fact, it's a free kick to Kringle for over the shoulder. Here's an opportunity, two bounces. Go to the third bounce, Cullen. Instead, he goes long towards. Oh, full forward. That off the ground. Over Blake Noble. Oh, oh, oh two of them have a chance. Okay. Still an opportunity. Paxton. Oh, he's, he's missed. missed. Uh, that's a bit like uh, that's Chris Main last night. I think it was, yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a big let off there for Lang Warren. Uh, Kringle had the numbers there, really should have put that in. So Grant Paxton had the opportunity to uh, to finish off the good work of Callan Dixon down the ground, but it wasn't to be. So the margin's still at seven goals. Two goals, five, seven, eight, laying line. Karingle, nine, five, 59. As McGill from fullback goes towards the scoreboard side of the ground. The mark's been taken here by, I think that's by Porter. 
So Mitchell Porter it is, goes long out towards defensive 50 and the ball is knocked over for a boundary throw in. So the margin is 42 points. And uh, just a reminder of that uh, that score that we did get from another ground was uh, Mornington was uh, in front of by nine points over YCW at half time. That was 9-3 to 7-6 in that one. Here's an opportunity for McGill went in short towards his teammate and Werner. Werner towards Porter. <coughs> Porter in short. Ball taken by Mark McGill once again at right half back. This is where they've got to get it right. Yeah, this is where they've been falling down a lot in the first <laughs> quarter and they've got a lot of the ball there at half back, but they still haven't learnt their lessons, I don't think. Here's an opportunity for the ball to come forward on this occasion and Karingle with the opportunity and towards Noble, he takes the mark. They've got some numbers here if he wants to go again. No, he's decided to... He's in the left forward pocket here. He can go. What's he doing here? He's going oh, to have the nugget. shot no, and he's going to hit the post cool. on the full there. So that is out of bounds on the full. He's in behind post. He was in two minds there. I think he wanted to centre the ball but uh, didn't quite get it right. So an opportunity now for the Lang Warren side to bring themselves back into, back into play. And that's Jimmy Johnson with the ball. He goes long. Out towards right half back. No mark taken. Numbers are with Karingle. Goodall tried to pick the ball up. He managed to get the ball out somehow. Still an opportunity in there for Karingle to get the ball. And they do. That's oh, Peckett. Peckett is in trouble. The veteran, he got caught. He did, yeah. Doesn't happen too often, uh, you see that with uh, Peckett, but he just didn't have many options there. Good tackle applied there on that occasion by the player in Matthew Hogan, it was. He went in short. No mark taken, but the opportunity for Lang Warren to go up towards the scoreboard end of the ground, and the ball was knocked away there on that occasion from Andrew Bowley over the line for a boundary throw in. Margin is 42 points. Karingles way 9 559. Lang Warren, two goals, 5 17. Harvey Wreckers of Lang Warren scoreboard as the ball comes back into play. And the umpire just letting play go on here. Still an opportunity for the ball to come out. Jacoby, it was to Goodall. Goodall chucks it on the boot, goes down towards a two on two contest on left half forward. Andrew Withers went out, did very well. Just uh, put the afterburners on and went in short. Not the greatest of kicks. Ends up with the big fellow in Goodall once again. That's not a good kick by Goodall. It's been marked here on this occasion. It's been marked there by Tanaru. He goes towards the wing area. It's been marked on this occasion and it's been marked there by it might be my Mitchell Porter in fact what's the umpire giving you? Yeah, the umpire saying it's a blood, blood rule. rule yeah blood rule someone coming off and uh, just, to, uh, just while we've got the chance it's a big thank you to Bendigo Bank for supplying us with the a marquee for the afternoon and yeah. they, are, they are they are celebrating their second birthday this weekend the Mount Martha branch of Bendigo Bank so thank you very very much for your help in, uh, in getting the broadcast up and running by supplying this beautiful marquee for us. Yeah definitely if you need to get a loan uh, go down go see the team at the uh, Bendigo Bank Mount Martha branch there um, they'll definitely help you out fantastic team very friendly. So Porter it is he goes sideways he's got McGill he didn't take the mark, but he was uh, on his own, so he could afford to play on. That's not a good kick. Now the turnover is on. Kick to Alanis. Alanis gets a hand pass. There's Michael Burke, runs through 50. Left foot kick by Michael Burke. Has the Stop shot, target. just misses. That would have hurt. So 9 6 60 plays 2 5 7 8. Margin is 43 points. Unfortunately today, like you look at uh, you look at some of the Lang Warren players, and just uh, there's been some uh, some of their stars just haven't been able to get into the game for one reason or another, and that's been pretty much it at the moment. They they need their guns to be up and firing. Unfortunately, Bo Mustard's been left all to, all to him pretty much today at the moment. There is still a quarter and a half to retain. That's a good kick. Here's an opportunity now for. Lang Warren through Johnson of the Jimmy variety goes in short. And the mark has been taken there and it's been taken by Jaden Johnson. He's going to kick from out near 50 and probably, for the little man, he's probably too far out to score against this win, Nick. Yeah, you'd think so. It's a pretty tough win out there and uh, he's going to have to get it right. 
So, yeah, goes for the kick short. towards the top of the goal squeak and they get a mark. Shaw goes up, couldn't take the mark. Um, now an opportunity for Burke to put on the afterburners and he gets the ball out towards his teammate there. That might be Hode out there, in fact, who's uh, wearing a different number than what we actually had him down as. Goes in short. Mark taken here on this occasion by David Hurst. He goes long towards Noble. Couldn't take the mark. Ball falls to ground. Still an opportunity for Lang Warren to clear on this occasion. But they can't. A high kick. And that might be a goal, in fact. And it is a goal. And it's been snapped through by Dale Alanis, who's put through his second goal for the afternoon, and he's had a good game also. Yes, he has indeed, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just getting to that point now. Oh no, they've... What's happened here? I don't know if they've changed it. Yeah, he's... I don't know what was going on there. I don't think there might have been a miscommunication between the uh, goal umpire and the field umpire, but it's been signalled through as a goal, and Voss... Uh, I'm going to say it, mate. It's, uh, it's, I think it's game over. I think it is at the moment. Mm. Lang Warren will come home with the scoring in the last quarter, but they really need to... So they need to rattle on three or four goals in a real hurry to give themselves a chance at the moment. They're eight goals behind. They've only scored two in the game. It's hard to see them coming back from here. Mind you, not impossible. <coughs> As the ball back in the centre of the margin, out to 49 points in favour of... Karingal, an opportunity now for, they uh, just run the ball inside, that's beautiful play, and an yeah, opportunity for a shot at goal missed. by Paxton, he missed, that was Grant Paxton who missed that one, really should have done better in actual fact, that was beautiful play out of the centre, just a chain of hand passes, ended up with Paxton from 30, he should have drilled it. Yeah, no, I definitely should have drilled it then, and uh, it's good again, it's, again, it's the clearance work from the Bulls that's, uh, you know, uh, put, put him in a really good position today. So Justin Peckett does inside attacking 50. Not a good kick. And that's not a good kick, and the mark has been taken there by William Thomas. So Thomas gets a hand pass over towards Daniel Werner. He goes in short, and the mark has been taken. They're at half back, and it's been taken by, by Bice. Uh, the Liam variety, that's not a good kick and the mark has been taken there by Aaron Paxton at left half forward so he's not going to go in short now an opportunity from 50 lighting up with Van Ray, a kick towards Noble oh, and he goes up the big fellas, you take it or not to be ball still in the pocket over the line for a boundary throw in Voss, you've got some uh, little friends here that have come to say hello just at the front here Supporters, supporters, uh, supporters, short and tall, supporters yeah, don't know, yeah. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it, it, it's just a, it's, it swarm, the, the, uh, the radio swarms people around it, doesn't it? Here's an opportunity now for a short pass by Riley, he went in short towards his teammate there, Mitchell Gilfenes, he's put himself under pressure by dropping that mark, still in the right pocket, pocket. picked up here on this occasion. There and a hand pass over the top's no good one. A high kick there for Karingle by Tim Hurst towards the top of the goal square. It's going to be a mark. It should have been a mark to Dan Noble. And dare I say it, Dan Noble just uh, just totally confused himself out of that one. That was a shocking uh, effort at the mark there by Noble in actual fact. They're going to clear here, Lang Warren. They get the ball out towards the half back line. They just, they're just breaking down big time at the moment. They go long towards... Half forward, ball comes to the back. An opportunity there for Jaden Johnson goes off the ground and he goes off the ground again. And that's what they're looking for, just a bit of, bit of sort of, I guess, um, terrier action at the ball, a bit like Bo Mustard was doing in the second quarter right in front of us, Nick. Uh, they, just need so, they just need that ferocity on the ball. Yeah, they definitely need to lift there. It's the intensity uh, at the moment. Uh, Kringle getting far too much space there, but, you know, but Bo Mustard, he was definitely in on the act, and they need to get the other boys uh, to help him out and just really lift this side. Michael Burke, a hand pass towards Van Ray. He goes long towards half forward. Kringle going to the Cranbourne right in in the third quarter, and... Hasn't really been too much uh, play in this quarter. It's only been one goal to nothing in this quarter, and we've been going a while. An opportunity there for Peckett around the corner. Justin Peckett goes towards the player there in Noble. He couldn't take the mark. As the kick comes off the ground, it's out of play for a boundary throw, and as the rain starts to come down, I can hear it on the, uh, on the top of the marquee. Yeah, we expected some showers, and they're coming late, and this is not going to help out uh, Lang Warren. As I said, I think the game is... Uh it's pretty much over here. I just haven't really seen anything from Lang Warren that's going to really say that they're uh, going to get back into this contest. 
So ball to be thrown back into play and is now kick off the ground. And in fact, it's been rushed through for a behind. So score up to 10, 7, 67. Plays two goals, 5, 17. So the margin is 50 points. As the ball with Liam Bice, who goes towards Muston, couldn't take the mark. On his, uh, on his hammer there was Hope. Still an opportunity here for the ball to come out. The umpire says not to be. And the umpire says I'll ball it up right in front of where we're broadcasting in this afternoon. Right half forward flank. Cramman right into the ground. 60 metres out from the Karingal goal. We're more than halfway through this third quarter. And Lang Warren needed goals and they started off right in this quarter. An intensity around the ball, but they haven't put the goal on the board and they've only scored two for the day. So the ball to be thrown uh, throw up again by the umpire. It's taken by McGarry and Sam McGarry just brushed aside that there was nothing there. He has the shot and he misses. So peppering the goals here, Karingal, but not being able to score goals. 10 8 68 plays 2 5 7 8. McGarry's had a good game also. Yeah, he has, but they just seem to be doing what they like there. I mean, they've really missed some opportunities, and, uh, you know, <laughs> this could get really ugly, uh, really ugly for uh, Lang Warren. They do have the scoring in, in the last quarter, but uh, Karingal, I think it might be a bit of a, a glitch on the radar last week for them. I think they, they're going to be uh, certainly right up there once again, Nick. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, without a doubt. And uh, I think it just goes to show that with the nature of the competition, I think uh, um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tight race. So there's going to be sort of those two or three teams, and then there's going to be a battle. As uh, I think Tully's touched on in the footy show earlier, it's going to be a battle to see who can sort of fill those fourth and fifth spots as well. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Boundary umpire to throw the ball back into play right in front of us. No down by Norton but he's given away the free kick and it's going to go to big Christian uh, Bleasner he gets a hand pass over towards his teammate there and Haley goes in towards the forward pocket he was looking there for a teammate who couldn't quite get the ball there on that occasion and that was Anthony Joel and the ball over the line for a boundary throw in Margin is 49 points here in favour of, in fact it's, uh, it must be 50, it's, it's in fact it's 51 points in favour of Coringal, 10 8 68, plays two goals, 5 17, ball off the ground, over near the boundary line and over the boundary line, Mitchell Bill for seeing the ball out of play. Very flat in this uh, third quarter, there's not a lot of tensity, uh, I think you can see that, you can easily tell that Coringal's got this under control but uh, there's just no flow from both sides, it's very, uh, very tough football to watch. Boundary umpire throws the ball back into play. It is going to be picked up here by Alanis. He got, oh, he got chicken wing there, Dale Alanis. Could be in the back, yep. Yep, paid it. He, uh, he probably should have got a free kick, actually, for being chicken winged. His left, his left arm was dragged behind his back there. Yeah, well, uh, the umpire might have been a bit blindsided, but... As, as it is, Queen will having a shot, so all's well that uh, all's well that ends well. It's pretty much the same spot where he would have been having a shot anyhow. Having a shot is Grant Paxton, and he'll go for his first goal of the afternoon. So he is 25 metres out, Paxton. He gets too close to the man on the mark. Oh, no. And that was, uh, that was pretty much kicked like a defender there. And now an opportunity for the kick to come out towards half-back. It's been marked here by Michael Berg. On half-forward. As they look to bring the ball back into attack once again here, Coringal they do towards McGarry. And that was just too easy there. No pressure on the man going for the ball there and Sam McGarry who's kicked two goals in the opening quarter so he knows where they are and he's going back to have his shot for his third goal for the afternoon so he'll kick from pretty much right on 50 he's at left half forward so Sam McGarry it is for the Coringles 11th goal of the afternoon has the shot and big kick for this oh. tips the post three quarters of the way up. That was carrying a long way, Nick. Yeah, it did. He was easy going to clear them, but just the accuracy. 10 9 69 plays 2 5 17. Margin is 52 points, and that is on the Harvey Wreckers of Lang Warren scoreboard. <laughs> I just uh, I keep saying it's a trampoline effect here for Lang Warren. They just The ball just keeps coming back. 
It keeps coming back to Karingal as well. Eventually the floods are just going to open. Long kick towards Noble. Goes up. Couldn't take the mark. Oh. Ball on the ground. Mitchell Gill finesse was tackled. Uh, in fact, uh, he's probably lucky that he received the free kick. Yeah, I, I don't know about the free kick there. I thought it might have been holding the ball, but uh, no, he's played it the other way. Short pass by uh, Mitchell Gilfinesse, and the mark has been taken there on this occasion by Tanneru. And Tanneru goes out towards half-back. Andrew Johnson and also Aaron Paxton going up, ball knocked away. In fact, it's uh, in fact the kick was out of bounds in the fall, I think. The umpire might be saying. And Paxton with the opportunity to weigh it up from 50. Probably too far out to score even with this win. Yeah, he'll have to centre it here. I think that's what he's going to do. Yep. Just centering it, centering it towards probably about 25 metres out from the top of the goal square. But uh, a good mark taken there by Jimmy Johnson for Wang Wan. And they'll get a 50 metre penalty there. And let's see if they can do something with this ball now. I'm just going to see some try and, try and see some movement up forward if we can. The rain just start, starting to trickle down here at Bellum Park. It's not the highest scoring of games this afternoon. And Karingal certainly well in control of this game and their percentage. If they can keep Wang Wan down to maybe four or five goals or under, then they're going to have a, a decent percentage booster, even though it is only round two. Here's an opportunity for Burke. Yeah. Michael Burke to his team out there and McGarry once again. He goes oh, in short. No. Taken though by Withers. Withers towards Mitchell. Uh, not, uh, it wasn't Mitchell Gill Finesse. That was... Uh, I'm not sure that was actually. It was an opportunity there for Porter. He slapped the ball out but only as far as Hode. Hode a hand pass. Setting the ball up there and a long kick. A goal was Martinson. Has yeah, the yeah. shot and puts it through for a great goal on the left foot. So Karingal up to 11.975 and Lang Lyon at 2 goals, 5.78 and you're listening to RWP, the voice of Peninsula Football. Don't just dream about the great outdoors, rip and erase and make it yours. With 25% off all stretches, 20% off R.M. Williams Stockyard Apparel Range and get 40% off Wild Country Workwear. These deals and more at Raise Outdoors. In store and online at raiseoutdoors.com.au. Make the outdoors yours at Raise Outdoors. Station sponsor. Welcome back here to Karingal and uh, well it must be the thing with the red and the white this afternoon. Karingal wearing the red and white colours as uh, a kick towards Noble there by Paxton and it wasn't taking the mark. I just got told during the break that Sydney kicked 11 goals in the third quarter in the AFL which uh, which for them is a massive scoring quarter especially against a, a fairly good team in North Melbourne. Ball will be thrown back into play. Knocked down by Riley towards the boundary line and goes over once again for a boundary throw-in. Margin 58 points here at Coringa this afternoon. 11.975. Plays 2.5.17. Ball taken by Paxton of the Grant Variety. Hand passes to Burt. Kick to the top of the goal square. And a mark right behind the pole there and it's been taken by Alanis who will go back from directly in front and put the 12th goal on the board. Yeah, as you said, uh, looking very much like a game that's happening down at Bloodstone Arena in Tasmania right now, but uh, Karingal just well on top here um, and this is really disappointing from Lang Warren. So, Alanis. Probably been, in, probably been in Karingal's probably top five players out there, I reckon, today. He's been very, he very been good. good. Yeah, he has seen a bit of the ball. He's kicked, what now, three goals for the afternoon. So Karingal up to 12, 981, and Lang Warren at two goals, 5, 17. And that is on the Harvey Wreckers of Lang Warren scoreboard. And, uh, well, it's uh, a case of Lang Warren just wanting this day to... Uh, to finish, I'm just looking next week. Lang Warren or Lang Warren have got the toughest trip of all. They played YCW next week at YCW. And Karinga will play Mount Eliza at Mount Eliza next week. Yeah, it's a big game. And that itself is not, not an easy trip, but yeah. Karinga will just... Uh, may have just found their mojo today. Certainly didn't want to be zip to and being at home. And they've got YCW in two weeks' time, so that is going to be a huge game for them. But in the meantime, the ball back to the middle. High kick for Karingal out of the centre square. It's uh, in the centre square, and the ball is taken there by Thomas. Not the fifth, and he had no chance of getting in the ball, so the umpire said, I'll throw it up. Kingsbury 
Whitfield and Ellis, the three umpires this afternoon. Here comes another inside. Here's another opportunity as Dixon over the top towards his teammate there. And uh, that's uh, Grant okay. Paxton goes towards Justin Peckett who goes back and will take the shot at Dale from about 20 metres out. He's on probably about a 27 degree angle and an opportunity for him to put a goal on the board and to end his good day on. In fact, there's still another quarter to go, but he's had a good day himself. Has the shot and, and puts it through for a goal. And he's had a good day, Justin Packard. Oh, he has. He's been superb. It's not just uh, his goal kicking or um, I just think, you know, he's worked for Keringle in the middle and uh, he's been great. So up to 13,987. Plays 2 5 17 margin is 70 points in favour of Karingal as the ball making its way back to the centre square. And just a big thank you to Bendigo Bank, the Mount Martha Branch, Bendigo Bank for their uh, efforts in uh, supplying us with the marquee this afternoon to uh, make sure the broadcast goes up and running. So thanks very much, guys and girls, for your, uh, for your efforts there. Ball back to the middle. <coughs> Margin 70 points in favour of Karingal Mustin out of the centre. He's been well held in this third quarter by Mustin. Mind you, it's been, uh, you can pretty much turn the record over. It's just one way traffic at the moment. Yeah, it is. Here's an opportunity for Karingal once again. They bring the ball towards half oh, That's a good point. That's beautiful. Actually, he's been a good player this afternoon. Uh, Jackson, um, Jackson Matthews has been a good player also. Everyone's contributed well. High kick by Matthews towards the goal square. That'll be knocked through for a behind, and it is. So Karingal up to 13-10-88, laying one, two goals, 5-17. And this has been a fair old shellacking in this game so far with uh, Karingal just uh, maybe just giving Lang one just a, a little bit of a, a reminder that, um, that they've got to come to play every week, and today it just hasn't been their day. Probably not the ideal. Uh, probably not the ideal scenario. You're coming a 12 goal beating, and then you've got to go to YCW next week. Yeah, just one of the natures of the draw. It's just it is. It is. Lucky it or is. Or lucky natural to and, draw. And listen, we know Lang can play competitive football. We saw last week they got a fantastic win on the board, and uh, today just hasn't been their day. They've just been really outplayed. But they certainly have. And there's a free kick here going to Liam Bice, who go in short. And uh, sorry, it's Jake Smith. In fact, he went in short. And the mark has been taken in on, on centre wing. And just trying to pick up the player out there with the ball. Went in short. The mark taken by Daniel Werner. Hasn't been Daniel Werner's greatest game today. Mind you, he hasn't been on his own. He has tried hard though. I know. Um, Lang one will look at a run off there, but uh, the umpire said that's a free kick. And it's going to go to Aaron Paxton at half back. He'll go long down the line and it, how does Lee Van Ray get 15 metres on his own forward and <laughs> centre wing? Oh, I don't know. It defies logic to me. Kicks to Michael Burke. How many times have they done that at training? Burke plays on with a hand pass and an opportunity for Van Ray. He'll love to kick a goal here and he's yeah, kicked he's it off. down and he's, just, he's out in the fall. It's out in the fall. Probably a better set shot he is <laughs> than on the run. So... Margin stays at 71 points. We must be right on three-quarter time. Yeah, there wouldn't be long left. As Jesse Bice, it was, plays on for Lane Warren, goes out towards right half back. Couldn't take the mark. Now an opportunity for Kringle to load up once again. They've still got time here. If they can pick the ball up there, and they do through the agency, that might have been Jack Johnson with the ball. Still an opportunity for... A good tackle to be applied, and that was uh, one of the best parts of Lang Warren's game in this third quarter. It was a good tackle by Andrew Bowie. Can they kick a goal before three-quarter time? An opportunity for them to play on. They go long in towards Mustin, and Bowie Mustin has dropped the mark. Ball on the ground, an opportunity now for them to clear through Joel. Joel towards Callum Dixon. Dixon, a hand pass towards his team out there in McGarry. Dixon will get this back, will he? He will probably uh, he'll go Cullen Dixon, but the ball will be out of play. And he's right in front of us here. Cullen Dixon, uh, I think Voss surely has to lead the way for the um, Harvey Record Lang Warren Best on Ground Award for today. Would you agree? 
I definitely, yeah, I definitely do agree. I think he's had a super game this afternoon thus far. And he's probably got one hand on that trophy, that magnificent looking trophy already, that magnificent no, gold I mean, looking trophy. That's like, it's got a touch of gold on it, it's, uh, it's a pretty heavy one too. We have the silver medal now, we've got the, uh, now we've got the gold one happening, I tell you, it's a, it's a super looking trophy there and uh, it's, uh, it's certainly going to be worthwhile winning that as the season unfolds, as the ball comes back inside attacking 50 here for Karingla, looking there for a teammate Michael Burke ran onto it, but the numbers are with Lang Warren here on this occasion, through the agency there of Jake Smith and he was uh, just setting up play from the wing area as the siren goes for three-quarter time. And at three-quarter time, it's a 71-point margin to Karingle. As the umpire ready to throw the ball up to start the last quarter. And here we go to start the last quarter here with a margin of 72 points in favour of Karingle. They certainly don't want to be blown out by 100 points here. Just get a couple of goals as uh, O'Shea gets the hand pass to Werner. Werner gets a kick up towards Bowie at half forward, but it's uh, out of his reach and the ball goes towards the line and in fact goes out of play for a boundary throw in. Just a reminder of next week, uh, Frankston versus Rosebud's the game for broadcast next Saturday. Oh, that's going to be an interesting one. And uh, Rosebud, of course, looking uh, very good with that win over Ryan. Good Friday and Frankston had a, had a good start to proceedings last week, I believe, as well. So. It is, uh, it's going to be a, a ripper, that one. As the long kick comes forward from Mustin towards Norton at the top of the goal square. Easily pushed out of there, Norton. Maybe he should have got a free kick. The, other, the umpire said not to be. Van Ray with a hand pass. And now an opportunity for Karingle to clear on this occasion. McGarry it was towards Tim Hurst. Tim Hurst towards the centre of the ground. The mark has been taken. And it's been taken there by Grant Paxton, who plays on towards Sam McGarry once again at left half forward. McGarry goes towards the top of the goal square. Not to be on this occasion. Ball falls to ground. Still an opportunity here in the left forward pocket for Karingle. Down the far end of the ground. As the hand pass over the top there was some, I think it was from Jack Johnson. Still an opportunity for Karingle here in the pocket. Michael Burke centers it towards the top of the goal square. Can they get a mark? Not to be on this occasion. Is still trying to get control of the ball here on this occasion. Still not to be. Ooh. Good tackle applied by Daniel Werner. No, the umpire no, no, it's, it's too high. Well, I think he just got the arm over the shoulder then. So, going back to have the shot at goal here for Karingle. Will be, I believe that might be David Hurst having the shot. And he will go back from around 40 metres out directly in front. And this to put the 14th goal on the board here for Karingle this afternoon. And again, they've just started the quarter like they have with the last three. Has the shot, David Hurst, and he has put it through for a goal. So the margin is 78 points. We played two and a quarter minutes in the last quarter here at Karingle. And it is a 78 point margin to the home side. 14, 11, 95. Lang Warren, two goals, five, 17. Harvey Wreckers of Lang Warren scoreboard. And uh, I just, I just can't. Uh, it's not knowing their tackles, like the things they're doing well last week. Nick, they're yeah. just, they're just things it's just the, aren't going well for them today. It's really not. As I said, the decision making, it's confidence as well. But you've got to give credit to Karingle because they've really applied the, applied the pressure and uh, been able to get first to the ball, and that's what it's all about. Uh, and we've seen today as well. Quick kick out towards. Half forward, is, is, is that a freak against Withers? Not to be, said the umpire, Andrew Withers will pick the ball up, tries the other uh, don't argue, and then gets, it was the meat and the sandwich there, picked up by Jaden Johnson, almost picked up there on that occasion. And I can tell you that YCW were six points in front at three quarter time against Mornington. So, YCW as much as four goals behind in the third quarter, leading by six points at three quarter time. So, I suggest a good test of Mornington's capabilities in the last quarter. But you think YCW will win from there? Free kick for down ground, Nick. Did you see what happened? No, I couldn't see from uh, from where we are. I'm in a bit of a tough spot here to see this part of the ground, but Dan Noble from 40 has the shot. Yeah. It's not the greatest looking kick, but it might actually go get there. It's up there. Yeah, it has. A marking contest about yeah, five metres you've out. To, you've got to have someone on the line for that. There was just no, there was no one behind, and the ball just trickled behind and went through for a goal. So Dan Noble with his third goal of the afternoon, and Karingle up to 15, 11, 101. Lang Warren a two goal, five seven eight. So the margin is a whopping 84 points, and we played four minutes in the last quarter, and they've already scored the two goals, Nick. 
Yeah, they have, and uh, you know we wanted to see a little bit from Lang Warren this quarter, to try and win it and uh, show something. But they're just flat as anything, and uh, Karingal again won't uh, won't uh, give up, and uh, they just want to put more scoreboard pressure on. This uh, they've only lost by five points last week, but this is uh, this is going to be a massive percentage booster for Karingal this week. All of a sudden, this percentage is looking about like 99 or something last week. They'll be up to maybe at this well, stage maybe get, 160 or 170. Well, they didn't get flogged last week, so um, you know their percentage will be quite healthy this week, especially at the margin it's at, and they'll want to build on that, and that becomes so important at the end of the year, um, your percentage. Yeah, you build that percentage up early, it's amazing, uh, like even if you cop a couple of defeats later in the season, it it doesn't necessarily knock its percentage around that much. Here's an opportunity, Hurst bursting through, gets a hand pass out of the top, he was looking there for Johnson, but couldn't control the ball, Jack Johnson, still an opportunity here at, at inside attacking 50 here for Karengel, as the umpire says, I'll ball it up. Scoreboard into the ground or the uh, Naranga Crescent end of the ground in the last quarter. Karingle are attacking. That's the umpire throwing the ball up. It's knocked down by Goodall. Still an opportunity there for Big Goodall to receive the hand pass, and he does. Hand pass back towards Michael Burke on the left foot. Michael Burke yeah, goes in easy, short. As you like. And the mark's been taken there by Johnson. Was that 15? The umpire says yes, it was. I think Liam Bice might have thought that might have been... Oh, sorry, Jake Smith might have thought that might have been touched off the boot. As it is, Jack Johnson's going to kick an easy goal on the margin. It's going to be an even 15 goals, Nick. Oh, God. <laughs> the floodgates are well and truly open. So, Jack Johnson, don't know really what he's won. There's waiting for the umpire to blow time back on. Has the shot and puts it through. So, 16-11, 107. To a 2 5 7 eight margin is 90 points in favour of Karinga. We've played six minutes in the last quarter. And they're going at that two minutes a goal at this last quarter at the moment, Nick. Yeah, it could be uh, could be more than that as we go on in this last quarter, but there they are scoring pretty regularly, and uh, I don't know what Lang Warren can do. I think it's just applying more pressure, it's showing an interest, it's tackling, it's chasing, you know, it's those type of things. We just haven't seen that. Ball back to the middle. An opportunity once again as the umpire calls for a ball up. We've played seven minutes in the last quarter. Karingle 16 11 107. Lang Warren 2 5 17. As Bo Mustin goes long for Lang Warren towards full forward and uh, an opportunity now for the quick kick to come around the corner and it does down towards the wing and it's been marked there by that man in Callum Dixon. Leading in the race for that Harvey Wreckers of Lang Warren, B.O.J. Wood. What's up near the umpire's given a free kick. Off the ball as Dixon went for the kick. In fact, he's called play on. With Andrew Johnson just picking up the ball and went off with it. Long kick down towards full forward. Off the hands of the pack. Hand pass there by Tim Hurst. Player tackled. Was he done? No, in fact, tackled, tackled legally. Said the umpire. It's a free kick to Lang Warren through Jack O'Shea. Who will have the shot at goal. And he will have the shot at goal from probably 20 metres out. And he's tucked up right, right behind this kick. They need this Lang Warren just to, you know, <laughs> get some positive. O'Shea has the shot. Uh, he's kicked it. And he puts it through for a goal. And in the third goal of the afternoon, Lang Warren up to 3-5-23. And Karingal a 16-11-107. We've played eight minutes in the last quarter. And you're listening to RWP, the voice of Peninsula Football. <laughs> We all love our trees, so take care of yours with the experts at Absolute Tree Services. Whether it's complex tree surgery or dangerous tree removals, Absolute pride themselves in doing the job right. The friendly staff at Absolute Tree Services perform all tree work safely and efficiently. So if your trees need some loving, act before it's too late. Call 9587-1630 for a free no-obligation quote or go to absolutetreeservices.com.au. The best provider Hi, of quality... Hi, this is Megan Gale, and when I'm on the peninsula, I love listening listening to RWPFM. Uh, and, and thank you very much. there. Thank you very much there, uh, Megan. I love, love, love to hear Megan's voice and uh, she's fantastic. And, uh, you've, she got a bit, you've got a bit wet there, boss. I know you are. She's an avid <laughs> RWPFM fan, but back to the football is <laughs> Wayne Warren trying to salvage something from what has been a major wreck in this game. Uh, as Mitchell Gilford S with the ball gets the hand pass over the top. He gets the... Ball back here, Lang Warren's ball still on the centre of the ground. Jake, uh, um, yeah, Jake Smith went in there but couldn't get the ball out. And what's happened here? I've got uh, absolutely nothing coming through here. 
And, uh, and yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, I've got you're, no. battle, you're absolutely battling, boss. Oh, no, just uh, just, <laughs> thing, uh, just things are just happening here at the moment. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> the listeners won't, because I can't understand what we're talking about, Nick. Here's an opportunity for Johnson, days in short. Oh, I should have uh, taken that. That's that should have taken that That one. sums up Lang Warren's day. Uh, they had plenty of time now to get the ball back. Now a long kick towards Norton, but standing at the boat of the way is uh, Luke Van Rowe takes the mark. He goes in short. Mark's been taken there by McKenzie. So now they just switch the ball across. Back to Van Ray. Good tackle applied, but uh, still managed to get the ball out now. An opportunity for Hode. He goes in short. And the mark has been taken there by Alanis. Alanis goes towards half forward and the mark has been taken there by Johnson. So Jack Johnson goes in short, looking there for a teammate in the pocket. Couldn't take, uh, couldn't pinpoint the pass on that occasion. Ball still tucked up in the left pocket now goes out of play for a boundary throw in. Yeah, it's starting to just trickle a little bit now. We expected those showers that we said uh, in the pre-game. Won't refer, uh, affect the result at all at the moment. And here's another one, boss. Yep. Goal put through, and another one. So 17, 11, 113, play 3, 5, 23, and you're listening to RWP, the voice of Peninsula Football. More and more people with a taste for quality are shopping at Eliza Meats. Kevin and his lean team pride themselves on the finest cuts. From juicy steaks and roasts to high-grade mince and sausages, Eliza Meats are the gourmet specialists. Inquire about Eliza Meats Spit Hire, phone 9787-4473 for mouth-watering meals fit for a king. It's all at Eliza Meats. See our sponsor Kevin at Eliza Meats, 112B, Mount Eliza Way. 98.7, 98.3, RWP, the Peninsula's biggest variety. So welcome back here to Bellum Park and it is a one-sided race this afternoon. Coringle just far too good. 17-11, 113. Lang Lyon, three goals, 5-23. Kringle again getting out of centre, got the free kick there, so they've just dominated the clearances all day, Voss, and uh, it's it's something that Lang Warren needs to look at, um, you know, this week as why why they allow Kringle so much space and time. And uh, and Paul Waitley, like 120 odd games of football with Melbourne, he'll be sort of he'll be sort of trying to get things right this week, knowing full well that um, last year was a learning curve for him. He didn't know much about the league coming in here, but wouldn't have known too much, but now he knows a lot more about it and knows know who the good players are in the in competition. But I'll tell you what, this is uh, something that they really have to turn around this week, playing YC at YC next week. It ain't going to be easy. There's a shot and there's a goal. Scored on that occasion for Wang Warren, and the goal has been put through. It was by Jake Smith, who's put it through from the left pocket. So four goals, five, I think it is, 29. Plays 17-11, 117. That's a margin of 84 points. So... Look, we've scored two goals, but Karingal have scored, what, a four in this last quarter, so, and they've, they've yeah, played they 13 have. minutes in the last quarter. Yeah, they have, and they've still got plenty of time to put a few more on the board and, uh, you know, get a consolation at least for this quarter. They have looked better, slightly. So, umpire ready to th throw the ball up once again. With uh, Blues in the ruck once again, and... Uh, what have you made of the two big fellas for Coringal out there today, Nick Bleisner and, uh, and Goodall? Uh, Goodall's been good, yeah. I've, I really like uh, Goodall's attack on the football. You just see, as soon as he goes in for that ball, um, you don't want to be anywhere near him, so I've been impressed with him today. There's a kick towards full four. That's been touched. So off the hands of the pack and three, four, a behind. So a point to Lang Warren, up to 4, 6, 13. Coringal, 17, 11, 113. Is it something that... Uh, I know they, they, they used most of last year as well, but it's something that... Uh, that they definitely need going forward, the two the two big fellas out there? Yeah, it definitely could be something. It just really depends. It's really early days at the moment. So, I mean, today it seems like it's worked, but uh, going forward, you can't really tell until halfway through the year and see how it's worked. But today, for sure, I mean, they're 85 points up, 84 points up, and, uh, you know, I don't seem to be a problem with it. Same points and see you, mate. Umpire once again calling for a ball up margin, 83 points. 
We've played 14 and a half minutes here in the last quarter here at Dolan Park. And uh, quick kick there by McGill down the line towards the wing area right in front of the club rooms. The umpire says throw it back into play once again. Whitfield, Kingsbury and Ellis, the three umpires here this afternoon for what we expected to be a, a much closer game that's turned out, but Coringle have been fantastic today. As the ball has been knocked down, an opportunity there for Werner to try and get his way through the pack. In fact, he's been pushed in the back, says the umpire. He earned that free kick, Daniel Werner. He's been good today as well. I mean, uh, it's been a tough day but at the office, but uh, he's been able to lead him from the front as much as he can. He goes with a high kick towards half forward. Uh, no mark taken, still an opportunity here for Wang Long. That was thrown by Mitchell Gilford. It's a good pass towards Andrew Bowie who takes it. He plays on, he goes towards full forward. A big jump there by Mustin. Tell you what, he could have hurt himself. He, come down. he has hurt himself, Mustin. Yeah. Keep an eye on that, Nick. He's hurt yeah, himself he there. Himself. No, he's walking it off now. I think it's Pat who's down there for Kringle. Still an opportunity here for Johnson in the centre of the ground for Kringle, but to yeah, uh, Aaron Paxton uh, is in a little bit of trouble. The trainer's got to him now, but I think he might be a little bit. Uh, How's Mustin? Is Mustin okay? Yeah, Mustin's okay, and uh, but Aaron's struggling a little bit. He's on his feet. Just went up there and just uh, well, come down on his ankle. I think was the uh, the key thing there. Bo Mustin goes up against two in the contest. I tell you what, strong as an ox here. He held his own pretty well. Around the corner goes the kick, and that's a good kick. And a good yeah. goal for Wayne Warren. It's been kicked through by Jesse Bice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the supporters just having their say <laughs> on the afternoon. We've picked, you, we've picked that up on the mic. Uh, the effects might would have picked that one up, no doubt about that. But 17 11, 113, plays 5 6 36. Look. It's been five goals to, or four goals to three in this last quarter, but it's been a much better performance in this last quarter by Lang Warren. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, uh, you know, they've, I think they've outscored Kringle, have they? Outscored no, Kringle four goals to three. Four goals to three. So they've put more goals on the on the scoreboard though, and uh, yeah, it's a much better quarter. Mustn't's come off the ground too. Maybe just a, a little bit of a rest, or maybe just uh, making sh making sure that there's no ill effects with their star. On baller. Here comes another one. There's another shot uh, and missed on that occasion by Bice once again. So 17 minutes into the last quarter. 5 7 37. Play 17 11 1 13. <coughs> Sam McGarry with the free kick right in front of us. Switches play. That's uh, not a real smartest move there by McGarry. Lux of fortune. Lux of fortune for McGarry. He was, he, was, uh, he was fiddling around with that one and deserved to lose that one. As the free kick is going to be paid here and it's going to be paid to uh, Matthew Norton on the wing area. Kicking towards the centre but it's been cut off for Coringle and marked by Johnson. He goes forward and the mark has been taken here on this occasion by Noble. Noble can play on and goes towards a shot at a uh, goal coming up here on this occasion by the player in Tala Motter's head. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, he is... Uh, what a name. It's what gonna, a name. I'll tell you what, the name like that, you gotta, it's going to be a cult follow. It has to be a cult following. <laughs> it, uh, he's, so Tala Motter's head to put his first goal on the board this afternoon. Has the shot, he's missed. But... Um, Pretty good. That'd have to be name of the year for sure. <laughs> Uh, which is, uh, no, serious, seriously though, with a name like that, you're going you're gonna to yeah. have a, a following, but obviously doing very well to get a very strong Coringle side, so I uh, haven't seen much of him this afternoon, but obviously good enough to get into this side, so must be able to, uh, to play the game a fair bit, Nick. Oh, Off the pack, <laughs> now an opportunity for McGarry as the rain comes down a little bit heavier here at Coringle. What's, what's happening? The umpire's given a free kick. Is it back on play or downfield? And you can tell the the, the, the yeah, one rain's getting a little bit heavier because yeah. the people are dispersing from in front of us. They don't want to they don't want to get themselves uh, a cold out of it, so they're getting themselves out of out of harm's way. And uh, they don't want to uh, they don't, don't want any water seeping into their uh, seeping into their black or green cans there either. So uh, <laughs> certainly got to look after yourself in more ways than one. <laughs> As a shot at Dolly come from Alanis, has the shot and fades away. That wind is a, 
Right, right where's Sydney up here? It's 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 quite it's been quite strong at times up here. That wind must be very strong out there in the middle, Nick. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, for sure. It has been all day though, to be honest. Alanis had the shot. He aimed at the left post, and basically the ball went right across and almost went behind the right point post. It was that strong. So pretty much. It's a very, very strong wind out there, and it is getting heavier. We're 20 minutes into the last quarter. That's it, boys. Yeah, yeah that's it. Game over. That's it. All right. Our Langrod supporters are having a bit of fun with them in front of us this afternoon. There's a kick in the centre of the ground down towards half forward. Looking there for Andrew Bowie. Couldn't take the mark ball on the ground. Here's an opportunity for Mitchell Porter. Got the hand pass. Still an opportunity in 40 metres out if they can pick the ball up back towards Bowie. He was tackled. A quick kick towards the centre of the ground has been marked here on this occasion. There for Lang and they can play on and they do out towards the half forward line. An opportunity there for Johnson. Of the Andrew variety, Andrew Johnson goes towards full forward. Bleasner sensing the danger just gets back there and rushes the ball through for a behind. So margin out to, was it 17, 13, 115? Plays 5 8 38, so the margin I believe is 75 points at the moment. Yeah, Lang Warren's been better in this uh, fourth quarter. They, uh, well, but obviously next week they're playing YCW. It's obviously a major, we'll talk more about that after the game, Nick, but they just know they obviously uh, got the real big, the two hardest games out of the way away in two successive weeks. And I say that being the top two sides from last year. If you, if you don't include Mount Eliza in that, because Coringal obviously two or, two or three on the ladder, mm. played in the qualifying final, so they're in the, the double chance position. Quick kick down the line towards McGill, who picks it up and goes towards the centre of the ground. It's taken here by the player N. Werner. Daniel Werner goes out towards his teammate, who takes the mark and attacking 50. Looking to play on, has been called to play on, goes in short, looking there for O'Shea. He's not going to even get close to that one. Not one of the balls raw, mark taken by Jack Johnson. He goes out towards the halfback line. It's been marked there on this occasion by Peckett, who goes in short. The ball will come back towards Justin Peckett. He goes in short towards his teammate there, and that's uh, is it Dixon there with the ball. No, that's not Dixon. It's too tall for Dixon. Down there, it's uh, 75 points at the moment. We're 22 minutes in the last quarter here on the Harvey Wreckers of Lang Line scoreboard, 113 to 38 in favour of Karingal. An opportunity now for a kick to come forward here on this occasion. And it's going to be picked up and given towards the centre of the ground, towards Liam Bice. He goes in short, and the mark has been taken there on this occasion by McGill. Smack bang in the centre of Bellum Park. He goes out towards the right half forward flank. Lux of fortune there for Andrew Bowie. Landed straight into his lap. Hand pass to Porter. Hand pass to... That's uh, Jesse Boss. it was. He got tackled. In fact, there's a free kick throw over the shoulder. It's going to go to Karingal. I actually didn't see that one. Did you see that one, Nick? Uh, Nick's just... Uh, <laughs> Nick's, Nick's just... Uh, Sorry, uh, I've got... I think I've just caught a cold. It was right coming down. I've just sneezed everywhere. Um, yeah, I think that was, I think that was a free kick... Uh, to Karingles, most of the length as well. Sorry, that, like that's, that's, uh, sorry, I should have, <laughs> should, have noticed, should have noticed you're in trouble, but here and I didn't, I do apologise. Uh, that's uh, a kick that's smothered. Still an opportunity here for Karingle to clear on this occasion. They whirl through McGarry, he picks the ball up and goes with the left foot kick towards half forward ball off the back of it. In fact, uh, McGarry running onto the ball now. So an opportunity for Karingle maybe to get one more. We're 24, 29, 24 minutes in the last quarter. They're well in front, but they'd like to get one more on the scoreboard if they can. That's a good kick by Grant Paxton. And the mark has been taken by Dale Alanis, who will go back and have a shot for goal number four for the afternoon. And he's had a very good game also. Yeah, he has. You're still, you're still favouring Dixon for the trophy? I think so. I think he's really set up Kringle today. He maybe has been quiet. He has been quiet in the second half, but I think uh, it's just been that type of game where it's, it was pretty much over at halftime anyway. So has the shot. That's a better kick by Alana. So he's kicked his fourth goal. So that's a good effort by a little yeah, man this he's afternoon. 18, 13, 121, Kringle. 5, 8, 38, Lang one. And that is Darwin Alanis' fourth goal of the afternoon. And we're 24 minutes exactly in the last quarter here on the Harvey Wreckers of Lang Lawrence scoreboard. So pretty much 
I'm going to take the opportunity to sit down <laughs> as uh, the crowd is dispersed from in front of us. And uh, Alanis is, is one that's uh, bought the game of Dixon. Uh, I bought the game of Sam McGarry as well across half back, you know, half forward and even running up towards uh, half back to half forward. He's kicked a couple of goals himself. As the ball is going to be taken out towards the centre wing, oh. it's a tackle too high. Oh, I'm high, you've got to pay that. Yeah, I was right. Had his head ripped Sorry. off. I don't, I don't know how we can uh. see that one. And here's an opportunity for Bleasner. On his hands and knees, the big fella. Gets the hand pass out. Still an opportunity here for Jake Smith, but it's picked up there by McGarry. McGarry around the corner, looking there for a teammate there in Anthony Joel. Couldn't take it, but he tried to smother it to himself. The ball's out of play for a boundary throw in. 18 13, 121, Lang, uh, Kringle. 5 8 38, Lang Warren. Margin is 83 points. Lights have been on here for a while at Karingal this afternoon. Luckily, we're going to get out of here without getting too wet this afternoon. It is uh, very, very dark here at uh, Naranga Crescent, Bellum Park. Kick off the ground. An opportunity there for Bias. He was legged. He got the, uh, managed to get the ball away towards the big fella there in Norton who takes the mark. So Norton gets it off towards O'Shea. O'Shea goes long towards... Good mark. Oh. Luke Damon. And uh, Luke Damon might have hurt. Has he hurt himself there? No, there were... It was... Uh, he came out... He came out, but uh, hip and shoulder the uh, the Coringal defender, but... Um, wasn't anything dangerous in it, but the Coringal crowd just sort of ooh and an ah in there. Maybe just giving Luke Damon a hard time. It hasn't been Luke Damon's best game for the afternoon. And there's a shot and another miss there for Lang Lawrence. Up to 5 9 39. Plays 18 13, 121. Margin is 82 points here on the Harvey Wreckers of Lang Lawrence scoreboard. And uh, uh, just, uh, I think the umpires will be very happy to see the end of this game. I think they're just uh, starting to, uh, to run Eon empty and just looking to. <laughs> just the, uh, <laughs> the band around pine there looking right at us as if to say, well, how long is it to go? Because I'm absolutely <laughs> stuffed. And uh, he, he looks at two. As uh, an opportunity perhaps for McGill to get the ball out here for Lang Warren. He does with a hand pass over the top. And free kick out near the scoreboard. And it is going to be... It's going to be a free kick there to Tanaro. Who goes as long as he can? The mark has been taken by Werner. So Daniel Werner, a hand pass. Now just showing a bit of uh, fandy there as the kick towards the centre of the ground, looking there for the teammate there on this occasion in uh, Jimmy Johnson and couldn't take the mark. Now Karingle with the opportunity perhaps to get one more. Uh, well, that's, not, that's not a good effort by Withers. He'll attain on this occasion. Actually, he's been right up there with Lang Warren's better players this afternoon as well, Andrew Withers. I think he has been. I think he's uh, been probably their best down back. He's uh, taken a few good marks and really tried to get in on the act. We're just ticking over to 28 minutes into this uh, last quarter. So it shouldn't be too long left. Yeah, you, you wouldn't have thought so. There's been seven goals kicked in this last quarter, but uh, uh, or eight goals kicked in this last quarter, but you'd think... Um, the players are just about out to it. Uh, Langwine player down. There we go. Right there, there is the siren. And only with a couple of seconds to go, the Paul Langwine player who's down there was suffering from cramp in a big way. Can't quite pick it up who it is, but... Yeah, uh, a bit of pain, yeah, yeah, he is. Look, the final siren has gone. 18-13, 121, Karingal, Langwine, 5 9 39. That was on the Harvey Wreckers of Langwine scoreboard. We'll take a break, come back and wrap things up from Naranga Crescent.